In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a Master Shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Some 20 years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master. That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, 
He has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reason. The Moonview Tower door. You can check that it's locked, right? Mm, it's certainly locked, but... <laughs> Nobody fixed that hole in the wall. That? Don't worry about it. The hole faces the edge of a cliff. No one could pass through. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. Well then? Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now, we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that can take us out of the castle. Find the secret passage beneath the moat bridge so that we may escape Ashina Castle. When you've reached it, give the signal. I'll come as soon as I hear the reed whistle. Secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge. We just got orders to guard it. Mm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. Wolf, you found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord.
To think that this is the only way. To run from the fated bloodline is the only answer. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. The Divine Heir. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. I... Thank you. Leave this to me. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. You face Genichiro Ashina. <laughs> Is that all the shinobi has to offer? The divine heir will be coming with me. So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate, just yet. What do you call yourself? Your eyes, the eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic? It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. You're quite the strange one. Yet 
Other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. You see the kind-faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. Hmm. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. You made this gourd? Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. Mm. Never seen you before. Your name? <sighs> Won't tell me. But you do have the look of a skilled shinobi. A shinobi. Or perhaps... Hmm. Sir, please heed my humble request. Face me in battle. <clears throat> Still alive. That swordsmanship. It was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. What are you? Some call it undying. Others infested. I can't die, so I just am. found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang, but by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters, swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. <coughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Dragon rot. The stagnation overflows and spreads. A disease that leads eventually to death. What are you talking about? You don't need to worry about me. I'm not normal, you see. It's difficult for me to speak now. Ask Emma about the rest.
close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts and awaken old memories from their slumber. Bastards. Hello. Uh, uh, you are Shinobi, if if I'm not mistaken. Take the Shinobi axe from from the temple and split their skulls wide open. Please. We're burning this temple next fourth. No, leave it. Go on to the next one. But if there's any offerings, we could give them to Lord Juzo. Enough! We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your sick skull? Please, don't get angry at me, boss. I'm sorry, my skull's so sick. Shinobi. Yes. What good are you? You were nowhere to be seen when things went south. Wait, tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of their attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. I hope you die, traitor. Who... who are you? I'm not a thief. Uh, you... you're the young lord. Oh, thank goodness. Honorable Shinobi, those filthy bandits are after the young lord. They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, Shinobi. Please rescue the young lord. I entrust this to you. Hey, open up! just outside of here. Yes. Return to the estate entrance. You look for a side route along the cliffs. Take the back entrance through the cemetery. That's your way in. Understood. Wolf! Never forget the Iron Code. Yes. The Master is absolute. Wolf, protect your Master with your life. <laughs> Oh, father.
heart of this old body. Go on ahead. The son of Owl. I saw a dreadful vision. It was pouring out more and more. It wouldn't stop. is deep in the mansion. My son, Inosuke, went to rescue him. So he's probably fine, but... but you never know. The young master might need you, Rogue Shinobi. Go to him, will you? What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize you were here. The sculptor has been coughing blood. I took a sample of this blood for my dragon rot research. A sample of his blood? Yes. Blood that he's coughed up. The color of the blood itself appears to be tainted. Stagnant. But the sculptor's blood alone isn't enough to reach any conclusions. Is there anything I can do? Yes. Bring me samples of blood coughed up by others that suffer from the dragon rot. If I have more, I'll be able to learn more about the disease. If I come across anyone afflicted by the dragon rot, I'll ask them. Thank you. You, the young masters. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Dreadful illusion techniques. Without a snap seed, it cannot be overcome. Take this. It's not much, but it's what I have.
cannot throw away such loyalty. <laughs> Loyal wolf, take my blood and live again. I saw... Yes? I saw you and Lord Kuro in a vision. A vision? Yes. Where is Lord Kuro right now? He's being kept near the keep at Ashina Castle. The gate to the castle, however, is shut. I'd like to make a request. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark, is it a birthmark? No. Then, that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. Hmm. Are you done? Yes, that will be all. Ah, I know you. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you're that good Sir Shinobi, sir. Huh? Well, I haven't seen you since, well, since that night. Hmm? Ah, I see. You don't remember. Hmm. Listen, sir, you and I, no, we've met before. I was a thief back then. <laughs> But those days are behind me. Now, I'm an upright and honest merchant. Only problem is, I'm broke. And being broke, I don't have anything to sell. So, good sir, would you mind lending me just a few coins to get my business going? I'll stock something useful just for you. Oh, you bet I will. And as a little bonus, I'll tell you all about that night. What do you think? Pretty good deal, right? Here's some coin. <laughs> Thanks, good sir. Now talk. Yes, 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 of course. That night. <laughs> so my gang broke into the Hirata estate. Now, as you're aware, the Hirata family is part of the Ashina. Now, normally they'd mop the floor with petty thieves like us. I mean, no sweat. But it just so happens we broke in during a battle. Yeah. Almost all of the young samurai were away from home. And it was a... Prime opportunity. <laughs> then, we started a fire and cleaned out the place. That there's when I met you. You, you were looking for something. At least, that's what it looked like to me. And, well, that's all I know about that night. I see. Yeah, uh, that uh, look you're making now. <laughs> you had that same look on your face that night. Smoke signal from the Great Castle Gate. Is it Lord Yobu? Yes, that's definitely Gyobu the Demon. Ashina is safe so long as that man guards her door. We 
we managed to drive them back once. But the Interior Ministry's army is far too powerful. And that is why you wish to use the power of my blood. It doesn't matter how much power you obtain. You'll keep on fighting until you're a monster. Incapable of feeling pain or fear. I do not wish to corrupt the lives of men. Look at this mountain of bodies. Ashina cannot be defended by normal means. Not anymore. I could never be as strong as you, Lord Genichiro. I do not yet know what it is I should do. It has been a long time since that happened. Wait all you'd like. It'll do you no good. My name is Kyobu Masataka Oniwa! Another rat. Hmm. Ah, but those eyes. A starving wolf. Before I kill you, tell me your name. Tell me your name! <laughs> no name to give. You, Shinobi, are all the same. You die nameless, with no one to mourn you. However, your left arm. A prosthetic shinobi arm. It reminds me of... <laughs> That's it. A one-armed wolf. I like it. Which means Sekiro. That is what I shall name you. Who are you? <laughs> I am the Tengu of Ashina. Come, Sekiro. Care to hunt some rats with me? What? Rats have snuck into Ashina, scurrying about like they own the place. There are all kinds of rats out there, and they must be cut down. Every last one of them. It seems you have a talent for killing. Allow me to help you hone that talent. What'll it be, Sekiro? Will you hunt rats with me? Very well. Excellent. You'll need this if you're with me, Sekiro. What is this? <laughs> the face of a rat, and where it makes its home. Go, and kill it. If you do, I will give you something that will aid you in battle. Oh, you survived. That accursed Gyobu's finally a corpse, I take it. <clears throat> that changes nothing, you know. There'll be more wars, there'll be more corpses, and deep-seated hatred will run wild. Where's all that hatred go? Haven't you ever wondered? <sighs> Guess not. Guess you haven't. That's why I pity you. And I pitied him. Now then, be gone already. There's no end to war, no matter what this old hag says. Your duties will never change either. That's just how it is. It seems Ishii's illness is indeed grave. <clears throat> the land of Ashina will not last much longer, even with Genichiro on our side. What about our other mission? Black Hat is fighting like a demon by the Serpent Valley side of the castle. Then that's where we're going next. But keep your wits about you. The Black Hat Badger won't go down without a fight. We'll be 
really planning to use that thing? In the battle. I know, I know. But what choice do we have? Desperate times call for desperate measure. We're in no position to worry about what others might think. Yeah, but... Hey, keep it together, soldier. Keep talking like that, and they'll put you on a detail. And when it's mad, it doesn't discriminate between friend or foe. Join me in prayer. Thank heavens. Thank heavens. I heard you were the one that put the armor on that big bugger from Taro Troop. Yeah, he was making a stink about it. It was a damned awful job. But it looks like it paid off, didn't it? He already had a huge frame and massive strength, and you just made him near impervious to blade. That is true, but he doesn't like that armor. And he sure didn't like me putting it on him. When a fight happens, it might come off easier than you think. <laughs> Lord Kuro, it is time, Lady Emma. Yes, I know. Master Genichiro is waiting, is he not? I will return to the top of Ashina Castle. Wolf, well, that reed whistle we used before, this time I will use it to call on you. Heard reports of a shinobi being seen somewhere around here. Very hard to say, but lately it feels like an everyday occurrence. I know. It goes to show just how soon the battle will be upon us. Even more the reason to take these reports seriously. <laughs> Wolf, you said to me once, do what must be done, but I have yet to discover what it is that I must do. I don't understand. Why was I granted this power?
How is Grandfather? Lord Ishinis. It's a wonder he is still with us. A miracle. Is that so? Divine Heir, I'll ask you once more. Accept me to your mortal oath. I cannot do that, Lord Genichiro. Your victory that day means nothing. He will risk his life to take me home. For he is my shinobi. My lord, I have come for you. This... will only take a moment. Let's see... For as long as you are alive, the dragon's blood can never be mine. Face me. Shinobi. I didn't think I was. Shinobi of the Divine Heir. Would you deserve better? Would you not answer to a different lord? Heresy. Heresy, you say? If it is for the sake of preserving Ashina... I will seize any manner of heretical strength. I will do any burden. Behold the lightning of Tomoe. You were victorious, I see. Are you? I mean you no harm. Shinobi of the Divine A- oh. Lord Kenichiro, is this the rejuvenating waters? <laughs> ah, Shina. This land is everything to me. For her sake. I will shed humanity itself. Resurrection. Yes. Indeed. At long last, 
I've managed to fulfill my master's orders. I give you my thanks. Who, exactly, do you serve? Ishin Ashina. <clears throat> I am a doctor in the service of Lord Ishin. Why were you ordered to help me? Lord Ishin has no desire to use the power of the dragon's heritage. That is why he... He tried to help Lord Kuro escape Ashina. Correct. The message I found in the well, that was your doing? Also correct. My duties have concluded. But there's someone I think you'd like to see. Lord Kuro is downstairs. I have come for you, my lord. Yes, you did well to come here. Let us go. We must leave, Ashina. Wolf, my blood. The blood of the dragon causes men to become undying. The same goes for you. Yes, my lord. I wished to save you. I'm sure that I would do the same thing given another chance. However, undying begets stagnation. The immortal oath, the rejuvenating waters, the dragon rot, they all corrupt men to the point that they no longer live as men. I wish to sever the chains of stagnation bred by the dragon's heritage. Wolf, will you help me achieve this aim? Father, I cannot break the Iron Code. I cannot. To protect you, the Divine Heir, that was the duty my father entrusted to me. How many times have you died and come back to life for my sake? Two? Three times? Or perhaps a number so large that it cannot be counted? As it was for the purpose of defending my lord, the number does not matter. I do not wish to bind you to an eternity of undeath. Wolf, join me in my quest to sever the ties of immortality. If we are seeking to sever the immortal ties, I know a good place to start. It's an ancient record that was kept in Ashina Castle. Sacred dragon tears from the divine realm. Yes. It is my belief that with the Dragon Tears, it may be possible to sever the Dragon's heritage. But... the Divine Realm? How do we... I know. Wolf, that incense burner over there. It belonged to a... person of interest. Take a look. Is there something special about it? I'm told that long ago, there was another Divine Heir living here in Ashina Castle. His name was Lord Takeru. This incense burner belonged to him. Where is he now? He died a long time ago, apparently. Wrapped in the aroma of the fountainhead, I returned to the Divine Realm. Those are supposedly the words he left behind. You're saying the scent of the fountainhead is the key to reaching the Divine Realm? That is my belief. Wolf, let us discover the truth together. Now, as to how we begin our search, I am certain some of Lord Takeru's books remain in this castle. Books that he collected in order to find the Divine Realm. I will search for them. In addition to finding a way to reach the Divine Realm, might we also look into how we might sever the immortal ties? A fine suggestion. Talk to Ishin. If anyone knows the answer, it is him. Wolf? Come with me. Lord Ishin is not within this castle citadel. I'm told he is recuperating in one of these watchtowers. However, the path to his watchtower is closed. His health is a little... How do I get in? On the roof. There's a path patrolled by the Nightjar Ninja. It's intended for Shinobi. But I imagine that won't be a problem for you. I've heard the Nightjar use smoke signals as landmarks. Yes. So if you follow their smoke signals, you should be able to reach Lord Ishin, And you can use this window to reach the roof. About the Divine Heir's life. Yes? There is something I wish to ask. My grandson, Genichiro, was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. You did well to put a stop to that for me. You have my thanks. I merely followed the code my father taught me. Ah, the Iron Code of the Shinobi. I see. So you're the son of Owl. 
That boy he found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travels brought you here. <laughs> the bonds that tie us are so deeply amusing. Don't you think, Sekiro? Your... The Divine Heir's desire is to sever the ties of immortality. I want to know how it can be done. The mortal blade. If you had such a weapon, it may be the key to what you are after. The mortal blade? With it, you could kill one who cannot die through normal means. One who cannot die? The infested, I believe they are called. I have not seen one before, but it's said you could stab them through the heart, or remove their head, and they wouldn't die. <laughs> if the stories are true, they'd surely be quite fearsome. Mm. To kill a monster such as that, you'd need the mortal blade. Where is this mortal blade? I've heard it's held in Sempo Temple. However, they say the mortal blade cannot be drawn. What do you mean? I am not certain of the meaning. It's just hearsay. Hmm. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Who knows what those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains. There aren't any decent roads leading there. How do I get there? The abandoned dungeon just outside of Ashina Castle. If you can pass through its waterways, you should find your way. Here. Are you offering me the sake I gave you? <laughs> Delightful. I'll take it. <sighs> That's the stuff. By the way, how was Ganishiro? What do you mean? You two cross blades, did you not? Uh huh. To put it simply, he was strong, and he had unusual techniques. I see. What exactly is the lightning of Tomoe? <laughs> that, it's a technique belonging to Genichiro's mentor. I'll wager it was quite the sight. His mentor? Tomoe. There aren't many masters of the sword like her. To see her fight, it's like she's dancing. When you look into her eyes, you feel as if you're being drawn into the depths of the ocean. <laughs> I was completely taken by her, and it almost killed me. I've lived a long life, but that was the closest I've come to death. You're leaving, Sekiro. Severing immortality. That will be quite the battle. And in battle, the plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, You'll be swept away. And lose the battle. <laughs> That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro, hesitate, and you lose. You're saying we don't have enough salt? Yes, sir. We use it for cooking, of course. But we also use it on wounds and for purifying the dead. So at the rate people are dying, we're out then? Yes, sir. That's why many on the battlefield are falling ill. I see. <sighs> We'll need to find a way to get some salt then. So, you've met with Lord Ishin? Yes. He thanked me for defeating Genichiro. I see. To think that Lord Genichiro would go as far as to drink the rejuvenating sediment. Rejuvenating sediment? That's what we call a particularly concentrated part of the rejuvenating waters. I'm sure you saw it for yourself. The rejuvenating sediment grants great resilience in one's flesh. One becomes able to withstand blows that would be fatal to anyone else. My mentor Dogen devoted much research to its uses, but all of his works, documents, medicines, everything, were burned and destroyed. I'm not sure who, but I heard one of the senior apprentices 
was able to salvage some of it. Probably Dojun. Hmm. Did you ask Lord Kuro's thoughts on the matter? I did. And? We've decided to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I thank you for all of the help you've given me. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're bidding me farewell for good. I've carried out my lord's orders, so I will stay here in the castle. Come and speak to me whenever you please. I will provide my assistance to you as a doctor. Here, for you. Oh my, if this isn't Lord Ishin's favorite sake, I'll have some. something I'd like to ask you. Of course. Who trained you to fight with a blade? A blade? I am a doctor. Yes, but who? Uh, Lord Ishin. <sighs> but I only have a passing interest. I do not believe your skill counts as a mere passing interest. Why did you learn? Well, not to kill people. What do you mean? No. I don't have the slightest desire to kill anyone. It's just... I would want to kill a demon if one were to appear. A demon? <laughs> don't take me seriously. It was only a joke. Lady Emma, tell me. What has caused the state of this man? The rejuvenating waters. That is what it is called. Are you telling me that this is Ashina's secret weapon? I am. Those who drink it cannot fully die. No, they become unable to die at all. The rejuvenating water, it also... It springs from the dragon's blood, does it not? Yes. Lady Emma, I do not believe the dragon's blood is sacred. Not at all. I've obtained one. A blood sample. Let me see. The coloration is very similar to the sculptor's. The color is just slightly tainted, but what's this? Hmm. Do you have enough blood? I believe so. Allow me to continue my research into the dragon rot. When we speak again, it's likely I'll have made a breakthrough. In fact, count on it. I still don't understand. It appears as though your body is no longer confined by the rules of our world. Come and see me if you notice anything alarming. I have returned. Oh, Wolf! You're back. Did you meet with Lord Ishin? I did. He said, the mortal blade. It could be the key to severing immortality. The mortal blade? It's a sword that has the power to kill the undying. It can be found at Senpo Temple. I see. Yes, that seems promising. As you say. For my part, I hunted for any books that may contain clues about the aroma of the Fountainhead. It seems Lord Takeru indeed sought a way to reach the Divine Realm. So far, I found one piece of relevant information. What is it? A flower. My lord, this is for you. Could this be? It's a Sakura droplet. That's... When the Undying Pledge of the Dragon's Heritage is broken, it's said that this remains in place of the Oath. Do you think this one was left behind by Lord Takeru? That seems likely, Wolf. If you so desire, I can use this Sakura droplet to assist you. My lord's oath is all I need. I understand, but don't refuse it to spare my feelings. If you feel it is necessary, do not hesitate to ask. Ah, I meant to ask. Did you notice the lingering scent in the incense burner? I did. The smell was reminiscent of sawdust, but also it smelled faintly of Sakura flowers. Oh. So you smelled it too. I felt the scent was much like Sakura flowers, but slightly different. Hmm. Mm. What is it, Wolf? That scent. It reminds me of something. You've smelled it before. I believe so. But I can't remember where. Now that you mention it, 
Lady Emma said that once long ago, there was a Sakura tree to the rear of the castle. Perhaps that is relevant to our search. Places. Ah, are you perhaps a shinobi? That's right. I thought as much. Might you be willing to take on a favor for me? I am Dojun. I've been tasked with the preparation of a medical treatment using the rejuvenating waters. I'll get to the point, my dear shinobi. This is a letter I received from the master. The particulars are contained within. Progress? Yes. I've found some answers. The source of the dragon rot is the stagnation in your blood. What causes the stagnation? The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of this power, and then you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but it must draw on power from another source. From those that have the dragon rot? I believe so. For those who have the Dragon Rot, the natural life force that everyone has, that allows them to live their lives and function as human beings, has been taken from them. Their blood has stagnated. Can it be cured? Yes. By giving back what has been taken. Here you are. There is something I would like to ask you. Yes. What is it? The Sakura tree behind the castle. You mean the Ever Blossom? It is a Sakura tree that Lord Takeru brought from his homeland. So it's a Sakura tree from the Divine Realm. Yes. It's quite a mysterious one at that. It was constantly in bloom, even outside of spring. However, 
The Ever Blossom no longer exists. It withered away. Why? There was a person who cut off a branch and took the flowers from the tree. Without its flowers, the Ever Blossom was unable to survive. Eventually, the entire tree was lost. Three monkeys. One of the panels is empty. Yet another who is lost in the halls of illusion. I believe you are on a mission, and wish to leave this place. Yes. Then you must defeat the monkeys depicted on the panels at the whole entrance. Once you have done so, the Divine Child's voice will reach you. The monkey in the green kimono is the hearing monkey. He has excellent hearing can hear across great distances, and is very attentive. He will generally run away the moment he hears you coming, making it hard to approach. He is exceedingly timid. I do not wish to leave the halls of illusion. It is usually quiet here, which means it is near to Nirvana in its own way. At least, that is how it feels to me. Oh, yes. By the way, there was once someone who, like you, was on a mission. I believe he chased the monkeys for a while, but everything here eventually went silent. I pray that you succeed.
forgive them? They only sought to keep me hidden. However, it seems it was not meant to be. Close your eyes. Let us meet at the inner sanctum. Please, forgive them. They only sought to keep me hidden. However, it seems it was not meant to be. Close your eyes. Let us meet at the inner sanctum. It seems the Sculptor's Dragon Rot has been cured. Yes. Please, give this to him. What is it? <laughs> it's his favorite tea. I thought it would be a fitting way to celebrate his return to health. The Everblossom Tree? Someone cut a branch from the tree and took the flowers for themselves. Without its flowers, the Everblossom was unable to survive. Eventually, the entire tree was lost. Oh, you're here. Need something? The Divine Heir. <laughs> you saved him. That has nothing to do with me. It does. You have my thanks. Hmm, the shadow in your eyes. It's become a shade lighter. What? No matter. So, you need something? I brought some tea. Mmm, this tea smells pretty good. Suppose I'll have some. Oh, I needed that. This tea reminds me of Emma's father. About Lady Emma's father? Dogen. He was an extraordinary doctor. He was also very well versed in mechanisms and devices. Better put, he was obsessed with mechanisms to the point that it affected his health. He didn't take much else seriously, but I owed him my life. Uh, and we could say that you owe him your life as well. What do you mean? When I lost my left arm, Dogen created that thing, which has now become your left arm. The first version was a complete failure, didn't work at all, so he remade it. Then he remade it again and again countless times. <laughs> What? He told me I needed to practice with the prosthetic in order to use it properly, so Emma would pester me into carving her spinning tops and other toys. After much training of that sort, it came to be called a shinobi fang. In other words, that prosthetic arm is Dogen's legacy. His legacy? So much time has passed. While I have abandoned my shinobi ways, that alone I could not bear to abandon. I asked Lady Emma about the Sakura tree. You did? What did she say? The tree is called an Everblossom. Lord Dekeru brought it here from the Divine Realm, but it has withered away and no longer remains. I see. However, it is said that someone plucked a branch from the Everblossom and stole off with it. Hmm. 
Who would do such a thing? Hmm. What's lost is lost. Finding a stolen tree branch? We have no information to go on. Let us gather what we can for the aroma first. Wolf, that sword on your back, is it? It is the mortal blade. The sword that can kill those who cannot die. Yes, it was given to me by the Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters at Sempo Temple. The Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those who have false dragon's heritage, known as the Divine Children of the Rejuvenating Waters. A false dragon's heritage. I never would have thought. Wait, divine children? Yes, many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man, the ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. Sekiro, is that the mortal blade? So what of the rumors? According to the divine child of the inner sanctum, anyone who draws the mortal blade will meet death. Which means only one such as you can wield it then. When I drew out the blade and saw its crimson edge, I, too, died once. I see. The crimson edge. Listen, Sekiro. With the mortal blade, you can now kill the undying. A truly terrifying weapon, don't you think? What are you trying to say? That sword is now yours. Who or what will you kill? You must be sure of the answer before drawing it. document written by one who sought the fountainhead aroma. I see. It says there's a fragrant stone in some sacred village, but I've never heard of such a village. It is beneath Ashina. Now that you mention it, about the well near the Moonview Tower, I've read it may have some connection with the bottomless hole. This may be worth investigating. I will take a look. Good. The text did say to throw oneself. I wonder what that could mean. I do not know. <sighs> I don't know either. Lord Takeru left it behind. I was looking for information on the Fountainhead Aroma, and how it relates to the Divine Realm. There is water that flows from the Fountainhead through Ashina, and the book speaks of a white lotus flower that grows where the water pools deeply. It appears to be one component of the Fountainhead Aroma. A place where the fountainhead waters pool deeply, perhaps in a deep valley? Yes, indeed. The sunken valley may be the place the fountainhead waters should flow into there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what is it, Wolf? My lord, this is for you. <sighs> That's... the white lotus flower. Was it in the sunken valley? Yes. Deep within the sunken valley. I see. So that valley is indeed where the Fountainhead waters pull deeply. I didn't expect you to find it so quickly. Well done, Wolf. So, the Everblossom has withered. 
and no longer remains. That is correct, but it is said that someone plucked a branch from the Everblossom and st mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's lost is lost. Finding a stolen tree branch? We have no information to go on. Let us gather what we can for the aroma first. He said I'd find a cowardly wolf here. No sign of him, though. A broken and incompetent shinobi living in disgrace. I hope to see such a man for myself, but seems I'm out of luck. And if he truly cannot die, I'm sure I'll run into him at some point. Oh, me. I can't I spoke of. Look all that cowardly and bad They say you're a man. Let's see if it is true. Slay one who opposes it. One who opposes the Buddha? Correct. <coughs> the one of whom I speak hides in an abandoned temple up ahead. He sealed away the village in a shadowy fog so that he can fool the villagers. An abandoned temple? Yes. It's an old building. <coughs> the door may be closed. But there should be a hole in the second floor. <laughs> Who or what did this to you? Large ape on my neck. Uh, my neck. <laughs> serve the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Yes. Why do you seek the mortal blade? I wish to obtain the dragon tears to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I have read there is a way to sever the dragon's heritage. Mm. Which means the divine heir begrudges the power of the... That's right. How strange fate can be. I am one of the children of the rejuvenating waters. Created by those who would stop at nothing to achieve immortality. My false dragon's blood was created by man. Children? So there are many of you. I am the only one who survived the process. The others are laid to rest here. I see. I do not know if it is right to sever the ties of immortality. 
But the dragon's heritage undeniably corrupts the lives of men. And I share the heir's feelings about that truth. Shinobi of the Divine Heir, I have decided to assist you. Please, hold out your hand. What? Bless us with bountiful harvest. This is... rice? There you are. Rice is a precious thing. It tastes better the more you eat it, and restores one's vigor. Well, well, if it isn't all chuckles. Did you take care of your business? That I did. All thanks to you. Whose grave is this? This? <laughs> it's, uh... It belongs to my kid. I see. After the little runt passed away, all the grunt work I used to do just didn't cut it. Experiments with rejuvenation, kidnapping, responsibilities of a black hat, everything to do with this temple was just rubbing me the wrong way. So that's why you quit. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, that about wraps things up here for me. Guess I've got nothing else to do but head back to Ashina Castle. Be a damn sight better than this place. Well, not to, I guess it's about time I headed back to Ashina Castle. Oh, you probably figured already, but Ashina, you know, she reeks of charred corpses and gunpowder, something fierce. The rats are flooding in like you wouldn't believe. Hmm. You watch yourself out there. you were still alive. That was my design. But the same could be said for you. I was certain you died that night. The power of the Divine Heir brought me back. That's it. What? The Divine Heir's power. The Dragon's blood. Must be mine. Father. Now you see it. Remember the first rule of the Code. As your father, I order you to forsake your master. From this moment, he is your master no more. Forsake the Divine Heir. Listen to me, Wolf. Obey your father's command, and forsake the Divine Heir. I cannot do as you ask. You... what? A shinobi, showing the likes of... compassion. Unthinkable. Such a miserable display. Uh, why, boy? Why can't you understand your father's will? Have you forgotten the Shinobi Code? A code must be determined by the individual. This is what I've decided. Just as my master did.
Wait! Wait! Please! It won't my mind! To see how you grow! see that you are safe. And Al? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. <sighs> this branch. It's from the Everblossom tree? I see. So Al had it. Yes. We are a step closer to the Fountainhead Incense. Yes. Yes. That's right, Wolf. I must remain vigilant. Wolf, I've made progress. I'm sure this is the last ingredient for the aroma. What is it? The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. In other words, my blood. Your blood? But my lord, you cannot bleed. Yes, it is true that those of the dragon's heritage cannot bleed. However, in Lord Genichiro's quarters, I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page, and it appears there is a way for me to bleed. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. Now then, we just need to figure out how to make me bleed. Perhaps we should ask Lady Emma. Hmm. As a doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human body. Yes, she may be able to help us. My lord, I have procured the ingredients for the aroma. Oh, so that is... the stone for the Fountainhead Incense? What a peculiar shape it is. Yes. It had been made into some sort of shrine. So it was just as Lord Takeru wrote. Yes. There was also an inscription. A sweetly scented bridal offering, written on the altar. Bridal? Hmm. What sort of place was this? It was in a cave, beyond a door made of solid rock. Hmm. In that case, where was the wedding procession headed? No way to know, I guess. Sweetly scented. Hmm? Lord Kuro, that place might be the gateway to the Divine Realm. Hmm. I see. Sweetly scented. Meaning, wrapped in the fountainhead incense. That is what it might be referring to. There is something I'd like to ask. Yes, what is it? Can the divine air be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood of the divine air is required to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the divine air's blood cannot be shed by normal means. However, you currently possess the means to do so. The mortal blade. Yes, here you are. This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. With the mortal blade, you may wound the divine heir, and his blood will be allowed to flow. I see. This brings us one step closer to immortal severance. I shall tell my lord. Of course. Wolf, did you speak with Lady Emma? I did. And? What did she say? That it could be possible with the mortal blade. I see. So the mortal blade will allow my blood to flow. As you wish. This should be all of the necessary ingredients for the aroma. Wolf, burn the incense. As you wish. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. It's over now, Wolf. How is the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Mm. So this 
It's the fountainhead incense. It's so extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, do you notice anything different? The aroma and fountainhead palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. But how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering. That was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. Wolf, I need you to bring Dragon Tears from the Divine Realm. Yes. You must first go to the depths of the cave where you found the Fragrant Stone. You now carry the scent of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you, if you enter the shrine within the cave. As you wish.
Lord Ishin, what happened? Lord Ishin has succumbed to his illness and passed away. I see. I'm sure you sensed it. The Central Forces have taken this opportunity to attack the castle. And the Divine Heir? Here. This key. My lord has escaped the castle through the secret passage? Yes, Master Wolf. The secret passage can be found along the moat in the Ashina Reservoir, not far from the Moonview Tower. Lord Kuro escaped the castle through that secret passage and should be waiting for you in the silver grass field. Understood. The Nightjar have left smoke signals on the roofs under Lord Ishin's orders. The smoke should lead the way to Lord Kuro. Lord Kuro escaped the castle through the secret passage. The secret passage can be found along the moat in the Ashina Reservoir, not far from the Moonview Tower. He is waiting for you in the silver grass. The night jar have left smoke signals on the roof. The smoke should lead the way to- What about you? For the time being, I will remain by Lord Ishin's side. Understood. I was told to give it to you, but it appears you aren't ready for it just yet. I will give it to you once you have mastered a secret technique. Understood. Lord Kuro! Shinobi of the Divine Heir, we meet again. Behold, the second mortal blade. Genichiro. If you think you can change Ashina's fate with such a thing, you are mistaken. Wolf, no one has the right to the dragon's heritage. It is no one's to bear. I wish there was another way. It's all right. One last time. Yes. Let's finish this. I will restore Ashita to glory. This long night comes to an end. <laughs> Pitiful grandchild. This was your last wish. To see Ashina returned from the great beyond. Let's go. 
side. Take the dragon tears. Sworn Shinobi, now sever these ties of immortality. It is best that you have this. No doubt, the day will come. When a shinobi arrives, seeking strength. 